If you're looking for the best sports memorabilia and card break room on the internet, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tonight's action will move fast, so we want to prep you for what you're about to see on your screen. First, the all-important dice roll number. At the top of the show, the host will randomize a series of numbers. The number selected from the randomizer will become the dice roll number for the entire show. Meaning every mystery box that is broken, the names of every collector will be placed on a list and randomized using the dice roll number for the show. Next, you see this black ticker down here? This shows you which numbers are still available in each and every Ultimate Autographs mystery box series. When a break fills or sells out, the host will ask for a number. This is where you make your selection from. Simply type a number in the chat and the host will pick the first number they see. Throughout the show, you may see two different types of breaks, divisional and top spot. Divisional breaks are most common. In this format, all eight individuals who enter a football themed break will be positioned next to one of eight football divisions after their names are randomized using the show's dice roll number. When the mystery box is opened, the football division of the team represented in that mystery box becomes the winning division. The lucky collector whose name is randomly placed next to that football division takes home the signed piece of authenticated memorabilia. Our top spot format is typically reserved for giveaways, college theme series, and non-football breaks. In a top spot break, all names are added to a list. They are randomized using the show's dice roll number. At the end of the randomization, the name at the top becomes the winner of the signed item or prize. Breaking sports memorabilia has never been easier or more fun than it is in Ultimate Autograph's live break room. Remember, every mystery box series you see on the show can also be purchased as a personal mystery box that is either shipped directly to your home for you to open, or you can request to have it opened on a future Ultimate Autographs Live Breaks broadcast. Also, while you're waiting for your break to fill, we encourage you to look around ultimateautographs.com to see if you find a piece of memorabilia you love and want to add to your collection. And don't forget, every Live Break spot you purchase automatically earns you 6% back in UA cash that you can later exchange for a mystery box or a signed item of your choosing. All right, the time has come. Let's break some certified authentic sports memorabilia in Ultimate Autographs Live Break Room. Tell them, boys. Hello and welcome to Ultimate Autographs. I'm Common here with Steven. Got a great show tonight. Looking forward to it, Steven. We are close to closing out several series. Just three jersey breaks left. Just three double box breaks left in the championship minis. Got some Tyreek Hill items available in both. Uh, Cheeto won't be playing in the playoffs any longer, but he is here in our break room. Got a lot of good stuff going on. Joe freaking Bureau. There's a new sheriff in town. Joe Burrow, says Chris Roberts. Chris is happy about the Bengals. Finally got his pick against the Chiefs. Right, Steven, I think you're happy as well. I'm pretty pumped. I'm not too happy about that Chiefs game. That was definitely... A heartbreaker. But looking, respecting his heartbreak. Yeah, it's pretty bumped. Yeah, respecting the heartbreak. Don't rub it in. <laughs> uh, but we are going to head to the randomizer. We're lo looking for six or higher on the dice roll. How about an eight? My lucky number. There That'll do. Bounce back, common. Bounce, Bounce back. back, baby. It's crazy because the Chiefs just have set the bar so high that you don't expect that to happen. But uh, I told you that they might be better playing from behind. Yeah. That's um, a, and that, that was an excellent point you brought up. Yeah, that's Besides something. Last year in the Super Bowl when they got sure. absolutely blindsided. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here we go for our chase, by the way. Okay. You like this? I'm vibing with this. All right, so chase is going to be the playoff bound helmets. Look at that. Playoff bound. Very nice. Take that off the ticker. Let's do this. What does the chase item do, Blake Miller? That's a great question. So, uh, what the chase item is, anyone that enters a playoff bound break, you don't have to win. All you have to do is enter. You get put into a list where we do a top spot break. We randomize all the names in that list. Whoever is top spot gets a chance to win some UA cash. We'll spin a wheel. You win one to 100 bucks. 
You ate cash that is money that you can spend in our break room. There's too many good QBs in the AFC for someone to be number one. Uh, AFC is loaded with young, great quarterbacks. David, I agree. There's Patrick Mahomes. There's Josh Allen. There's Joe Burrow. Justin Herbert. Lamar Jackson. The list goes on. I do think Patrick Mahomes is the best of the bunch, uh, but didn't have a good second half. Mahomes, just like anyone else, uh, is definitely human. Human, human. How are you today, Stephen? I'm fantastic, Chris. How are you doing, buddy? How's, <laughs> but, the, how's the weather down south? Sounds better than here. Yes. Bob is saying it looks like Jake from State Farm needs two new quarterbacks since both Rodgers and Mahomes are out of the playoffs. That's pretty good, Bob. That is pretty funny. Um, all right. Well, hey, we do have a break filled up. That is the championship minis. We've got Thomas Coyle, Mark Kiewig, new customer. Sorry if I'm pronouncing that name wrong, Mark Michael Livingston, Zachary, the man of the minis, Erickson, and how about Dwayne Robbie? Dwayne is a big Bengals fan. He's fired up. James Strode is in there. And how about Nestor Rodriguez? Nestor sweating it out right now. His 49ers with the 17-14 lead in the fourth quarter against the Rams. Looking to make it back to the Super Bowl for the second time in three years, guys. Can we get two box numbers? Uh, 49 and 50 are not available. Those were gone on personal and retail orders. So we've got 31, 36, 38, 46, 47, and 48. Those are the remaining box numbers left in that series. Just six box numbers left. That means we do three breaks, and we'll drop a new mini break tomorrow. Uh, Chase item of the day is playoff bound. Uh, those helmets are sick. Great headliners out there like J.J. Watt, Travis Kelsey, Stephon Diggs, Chase Claypool. A uh, really good list of headliners. Alexander and the great Steven. We've got a Tyreek Hill Lunar, Stephon Diggs Flash, Sean Alexander Lunar, Jalen Ramsey Lunar, Antonio Gates Flash. A lot of good okay. items out there. Our Dutch item, Sean Alcarez, if you're watching. How about Bob Greasy? He is a pro football and a college football Hall of Famer, two-time Super Bowl champ, six-time Pro Bowler, 1977 NFL passing touchdown leader. Uh, he signed at 72, 17-0 Dolphins, the quarterback of the undefeated Dolphins, the only team to win every game in the regular season and every game in the playoffs. Uh, just a little minor little white mark across the Dolphin logo, then a little minor green mark there. Otherwise, pretty good condition, full-size authentic on Bob Greasy. Good luck, Nestor, says Chris, cheering on his team. I'm going to head to the randomizer, guys. If you want to buzzer beat me in with two box numbers, uh, please do. Otherwise, I'll go ahead and let the randomizer pick for us. Still 17-14 on that game, Steven? Yep, I believe the 49ers just punted the Rams the ball. All right, so Rams looking to tie it up or take the lead. Uh, got some orders coming in. How close are we on? Our breaks right now, Steven. Uh, we are one away on playoff bound, which is the chase. So Excellent. I'm sure that's going to close out here any moment. Uh, three away on Circle the Wagons. All right. Three left in that series, as you mentioned. And then Alexander and the Greats were five slots away. And Pinnacle were six slots away. Uh, Caden, I believe the only headliner left in the minis is Tyreek Hill. That is Tyreek Hill, the Cheetah. There's only six boxes left on the ticker, so one in six chance uh, that you get Tyreek Hill. Uh, so 38 and 46 are the top two numbers in the randomizer. Uh, last call for numbers, guys. I'll give you guys uh, 10 seconds left. Otherwise, we're rolling with 38 and 46 top two numbers in our list randomizer. Uh, let me know if you want to buzz or beat me. Otherwise, that's what I'm rolling with. Hayden, I'm sorry about the Chiefs. You, myself, and Scott Thompson are heartbroken. 38 and 46. I'm going to get them right now. All right. Four boxes left in this series, guys. Four boxes left. It is very sad. I told Steven this. Perhaps they're just better playing from behind. Uh, they were having the lead, uh, and it's for them, it's easier to come from behind. That's just the way the Chiefs are. I'm going to throw you guys in for your divisions, and let's see who is where in our championship minis. 
throw you folks into our list randomizer. Let's do this. We are going eight times, as is our dice roller. Open for a big show tonight, Steven. We do yeah. need a little bounce back. Uh, after that heartbreaking Chief loft, Chief's loss for me, let's have a big show tonight. Refrain from the word we. I'm not heartbroken at all. All right. Well, hey, you uh, want a big show, though, don't you? Yeah, I'm not. You said we bounce back. You halfway hey, okay. we're here for you. That's fair. Let's all let's all help Common bounce back. That's right. Let's make it happen. Uh, all righty, James Strode, you're in the NFC North. Uh, Zachary Erickson, you're in the NFC South. Thomas Coyle, NFC East. Mark Kiewig, new guy. Mark's out in the NFC West. Nestor Rodriguez out in the AFC North. We got Michael Livingston out in the AFC South. Dwayne Robb in the AFC East. And Mark, you are out there in the AFC West. New customer, could you get yourself that Tyreek Hill cheetah, uh, which I believe is a headliner we still have out there. It's possible it went on a personal because we have had some personals in this series uh but have not seen him pulled in the break room steven well tonight we should i can see the tears welling up in steven's eyes after the chief's loss <laughs> mm -hmm. i like that bob who day says Dwayne robbie who day who day gonna beat them Bengals? chiefs shouldn't have made it past the bills i don't know about that they did lead most of the way uh, they had a missed kick, a missed extra point. They had more total yards. Uh, but, you know, it, it was competitive. The AFC is really close. It is definitely competitive. When you flirt the line, you're, you're bound to lose at least every once in a while. Uh, that's right. All right, here's the 49ers hit. We have an NFC West hit that is Mark Kiewig, new customer Mark. You are taking home Garrison Hurst, the first Madden cover athlete in 1999, two-time Pro Bowler in 98 and 01. Second team all pro in 1998. He was a great player. 1999, third overall pick out of Georgia. He was a consensus All American in 1992. Heisman Trophy finalist as well in college. Really good in the NFL. Uh, 99 was a big year for him. 2001, NFL Comeback Player of the Year. Garrison Hurst. Mark the new guy. Get yourself this Garrison Hurst mini lunar. Beautiful, beautiful hit. Mr. Hurst. Uh, I, I think, I don't know, it's hard to say. Change those OT rules, I'm not sure who wins. Uh, those two teams were pretty evenly matched, Sweeping Oak. Uh, I think if the Bills got the ball first, the Bills would have won. Uh, I would have picked the Chiefs. It seems like uh, they do have a good matchup against the Bills. Uh, but it's hard to say. Uh, hard to say, had they changed the overtime rules, who wins. I will tell you this, the Chiefs had more total yards in the game. They led for a bigger chunk of the game. So you can't say that. They didn't deserve to win. That was one of those games that was just a heartbreaking loss for those Bills. Garrison Hurst, though, good hit. I believe he's the first Madden cover, correct? First Madden cover athlete in 1999. John Madden, RIP to a legend. He was a great running back in the 90s for Georgia. And then he was a great running back in the late 90s and early 2000s for the 49ers. OT, OT rules are trash in the playoffs. I agree. I agree. Mahomes lost in the 08 AFC Championship in the same scenario. Uh, so OT rules are are tough. I couldn't agree more. All right. The roar of the crowd when they got the ball in overtime. They they thought they won. <laughs> they thought they won. Didn't happen. Yeah. All right. I mean... Double box break. Second box here. Well, this is the man who has won the Super Bowl. We got ourselves Brad Johnson, two-time Pro Bowler, Minnesota Vikings quarterback. He won the Super Bowl with the Bucks. That is an NFC North hit. That is James Strode, Brad Johnson, underrated quarterback, really good completion percentage guy, Brad Johnson. What headliners are left in the playoff bound? Caden, I will let you know. We've got a J.J. Watt out there, a Travis Kelsey flash, a Stephon Diggs flash, and a Chase Claypool Eclipse. Travis Kelsey, I think, is fourth all-time in career playoff receiving touchdowns. Mr. Travis Kelsey is out there in the playoff platinum-bound series. I know Jalen Hurts isn't out there because I pulled him this afternoon on the Jalen Hurts pool. Uh, so a lot of great headliners in the playoff-bound helmets. And we have just two, two breaks left in the minis. Still looking for that Tyreek. 
kill, which again could have gone on a personal, uh, but I haven't seen it happen. Fill up the Alexander guy, says Norman P. All right, Norman. Could you get yourself Sean Alexander? We got another Tyree kill in there as well. So let's fill it up. Fine by me. Let's fill it up. What's the score in that game, Steven? Still 17 14? 14. Rams are into 49er territory. Okay. Just got the ball to roughly the 25 yard line. How much time is left? Eight minutes and 41 seconds. All right. Plenty of time. Plenty of time for anything to happen. The one good thing I'll say is. Whole bunch of parody in the NFL. Uh, every game was decided by one score or less. Yeah. Last round looks like another game decided by one score or less. Uh, playoff bound, we're talking about it. We got James Strode, Michael Livingston, Colton Bicker, Dwayne Robbie, Alfie Reyes, and Bob Boulay and Zachary Erickson. Can you get a box number on playoff bound number one, guys? 11, 15, 16, 18, 19. And basically 20 through 29 with the exception of 22. Let's roll. We will have a wheel spin today, Stephen. Yes, uh, that is excellent news. Excellent news. I would like to fill up the Alexander because that is a sick list of headliners. Like I said, uh, Tyree Kill, Stephon Diggs, Sean Alexander, Jalen Ramsey, Antonio Gates on the flash. That's pretty cool, Stephen. Yes, it is. Pretty, pretty cool. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's throw up our list randomizer and show you guys uh, some of the items out there in the playoff of Platinum Helmet, which we're about to see that break right now, Steven. We're about to see this break. So let me know on a box number, but this is who we have in this series. We have a J.J. Watt, Jalen Hurts, Travis Kelsey, George Kittle. Again, Hurts was pulled, but haven't seen this Travis Kelsey flash, haven't seen this Stephon Diggs flash. This series is absolutely loaded. Absolutely loaded. Take the randomizer down. Let's see. 18. Bob is coming through with 18. All right, Bob. Let me get 18 off the ticker. Let me get 18 off the ticker. Then I'm going to go ahead and get it for you. And let's see. We just did 36 and 48. 46 and 38. Excuse me. Flip those. I'll take those off the ticker for the minis. Excellent. Um, 49ers stopped the Rams. Or, yeah, they stopped the Rams, but the Rams are looking to tie it up with a field goal. All right, tie it up with a field goal. Let's make it happen. Another great football game. Another great football game. Box number 18 for Peyton Manning. Thank you very much, Mr. Bob Boulay. Number 18. I did pick the 49ers in this game. Uh, but I also picked the Chiefs, so who knows? Tied. tied up. Feels like another overtime game. These two teams played overtime last time they met up. Yeah, it would only make sense. All right, eight clicks on the randomizer here. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. All righty, let's see where everyone is in their divisions here. All right, James Strode, you're in the NFC North. Dwayne Robbie, NFC South. Colton Bicker, out in the NFC East. NFC West is Zachary Erickson. Alfie Reyes, AFC North. Michael Livingston, AFC South. Bob Boulay, out in the AFC East. And Colton Bicker, out in the AFC West. Let's do this. Box number 18. Second break of the night. We have a circle of the wagons filled up, I see as well, Stephen. Uh, that is coming up after this. All right. All full-size authentic in this playoff platinum-bound helmet series. Well, I'm willing to bet this man was sad today, just like me. Sure enough, we start with the Kansas City Chief. We got ourselves Duran Cherry of the Kansas City Chiefs. Duran Cherry, six-time Pro Bowler, five-time All-Pro, NFL 1980s All-Decade Team, Kansas City Chiefs Hall of Famer, more than 900 career tackles, 50 interceptions for Duran Cherry. That is the AFC West. Colton Bicker keeping his luck with the AFC West. Mr. Cherry. Nice hit, Colton. 
hey if anyone is interested in a marshall falk the greatest running back in rams history i've got a flash mini says todd peterson all right chris roberts is looking for james trode chris what are you looking for from james does he have something that you would like to buy uh colton afc west seems to be your division a nice hit for colton to start the show Duran Cherry in the playoff bound Platinum Helmets. All right. And looking to trade for Chiefs something. Now, well, here's a Chief, Mr. Cherry. A whole bunch of Travis Kelsey and Tyree Kill Chief items in our break room. I imagine a lot of people in here have uh, some Tyree Kill and Travis Kelsey. Still chasing Kelsey in uh, the jerseys, I believe. We haven't seen, or excuse me, Hill. Uh, Kelsey in the playoff platinum bound helmets. Uh, so this series that we just pulled the chief, we got another one in Mr. Kelsey. What else are we close on, Steven? We are close on. Three away on Alexander and the Greeks, and then six away on Pinnacles. Otherwise, we are pretty wide open everywhere else. All right, guys, let's fill up that break page. Uh, hoping for a fun and long show. Uh, Circle the Wagons, number one. That is a jersey break. We've got Tim Lawler, James Strode, Tyler Giebel, Colton Bicker, Dwayne Robbie, Todd Peterson, Blake Miller, and Jason Short. Can we get a box number, folks? Box number. We have, let's see, we have 38 for the box, says Blake. All right, thank you very much, Blake. 38 for the box. That leaves us with just 46 and 49. Steven, you want to get that one since it's next to you? Which numbers again? Sorry. 38 is the one that Blake Miller is calling out. Okay. And circle them wagons. The wagons have been circled. The wagons have been circled. Boy, that camera. I wonder if I bumped that camera. Oh, what happened? It just looks a little crooked to me. It's not terrible. The product looks okay. Did you see how the camera just a little crooked? And then move it that way a little, though, so we don't see my jeans. That's better. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think that's a little better. Yeah. Not perfect, but that'll do. Um, all right. Uh, 38's going off the ticker. I'm going to randomize you guys uh, for your divisions. Circle the wagons, number one. All right. Let me throw the, the randomizer up so you guys see what's going down. Eight times on the randomizer. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Seven and eight. All right, Jason Short. Jason Short, you will have the AFC West where Cheetah might be residing. Tim Lawler, you're in the NFC North. James Strode, NFC South. Blake Miller out in the NFC East. Todd Peterson active in the chat. He's in the break room out in the NFC West. Tyler, you're in the AFC North. Colton, fresh off a win in the AFC South. Dwayne Robbie in the AFC East. And then Jason Short in the AFC West. There you go. Let's do this. Oh, there it is. I was like, where is this? His box. Chris is saying NFC East. Oh, this is nice. Didn't even know we had him in this series. Not a headliner. He is often a headliner in our Jersey series. How about this one, Steven? you like this hit. Michael Ooh, Vick on the, on the Atlanta Falcons. Michael Vick, NFC South hit. The greatest rushing quarterback of all time. He is number one all time in yards per carry. A great passer when he joined the Eagles. Uh, beat the Packers at Lambeau Field in the cold back when Green Bay didn't used to lose at Lambeau. Michael Vick, the human cheat code in Madden. He sure was the first guy to beat him at Lambeau. Yeah, yeah. He was the first one to beat Brett Favre at Lambeau. That is the NFC South. That is James Strode. All right, James. Michael Vick, what a hit. This had to be the best hit that wasn't a headliner in our Jersey series. Wow. Did not expect to see a Michael Vick coming out. That was cool. James Strode. Uh, good for James Strode. Blake Miller says, I wish Chris. Chris calling out the division. Uh, it was wrong division, but a big win for James Strode. Michael Vick. Very nice hit. That's a beautiful jersey on the Atlanta Falcons. 
All right. Well, we had a lot of eagles going off the board today, Stephen. Had some eagle hits in the early show. Uh, this was an eagle, but this is him with his first team. The Ooh. team that made him him. Team that made him him, Los Falcons. Michael Vick. Very nice hit. The best imaginary roller coaster ride ever invented. Yeah, for sure. Uh, 49ers had to punt it back to the Rams, so the Rams have the ball on their 39. Okay. About six and a half remaining. Six and a half remaining. Holy moly. Gotta love some NFL football, man. Yeah, it is. Non-stop. It is great. Non-stop, all these close games. Uh, speaks to what we saw this season. There was no real dominant team this year. Every team had at least four losses or more, and it showed. Uh, let me get Bob Greasy back on the screen. For now, because I believe we're going to have a break here with Alexander and the Greats. Oh, yeah? Yep, Dwayne Rabbie. Close, Ra Robbie? Is it Robbie? Robbie, I think. Robbie. Robbie. Dwayne Robbie. Who day? Who day, Close Dwayne? Out. Who day going to beat them Saints? Or Bengals, I mean. <laughs> But yeah, All right. I understand where you went with that one. Yeah, I got that mixed up. Got the two mixed up. Let me move some of these bad boys over. Beautiful looking Dutch item, though. Bob Greasy. All right. Keys to get yourself set up early in the night. Oh, in terms of box organization? Box organization, exactly. Yeah. All right, that list is ready for you. All right, let's see it. If you're in this Alexander and the Greats break, if you guys can get us a box number. So much talent. What could Vic have done if he hadn't gone to prison? I agree, Todd, but I think he was better after prison, ironically. I really do. He was definitely a better quarterback. He was a better passing quarterback. That much is for sure. Um, all right, Alexander number one. We've got... Dwayne, Robbie, Norman. Okay, Blake Miller saying 21. All right, Blake, thank you very much. 21, we'll get 21. Uh, Dwayne's in here. Norman Privet, Colton Bicker, Jason Short, Alfie Reyes, and Chris Hammers. Alexander, numero uno. Box number 21, I will get it off the ticker, and I will bring it over uh, to you. 21 is going off the ticker. Here we go. All right. Sweet. Oh, there it is. Box it looked at is twenty one. That works. Third and three. Are they near midfield or no, what? They're in they're in forty nine er territory. Uh oh. Well, don't forget that the kicker missed the 54-yarder earlier in the game. True. All right, box 21 is called out by Blake Miller. Thank you very much for being active in the chat, Blake. A whole bunch of different people in this break. A whole bunch of different people. Nice. Always like to see a nice variety. Yeah, I love seeing a bunch of different people in our break room. Single spot snipes galore. Single spot snipes galore, as Steven said. Excellent. All right, we're going eight times for our divisions. Eight times. Oh, we're up to the 11. Oh, boy. I think Rams get a touchdown. Niners get a touchdown. We head to overtime. How does that sound? Sounds like a, a thrilling finish. That sounds like the NFL in 2021 and 2022. The 2020. NFC West, says Chris Roberts. Okay, well, NFC West is Jason Short. Uh, NFC North is Colton Bicker. By the way, NFC West is Mr. Sean Alexander himself. Norman Privet, you're in the NFC South. Blake Miller, NFC East. Jason Short, NFC West. AFC North is Dwayne Robbie. Home of your Bengals, Dwayne. Congratulations. Chris Hammers in the AFC South. Alfie Reyes, AFC East. And Dwayne Robbie also out in the AFC West. Alexander and the Greats. Whole bunch of headliners still out there in this series. Come on, NFC East, says Blake. Wish it into existence, Blake. It's a thing. I told Norman the same thing. AFC South, really now? <laughs> That's pretty funny. 
Chris Hammers was hating on the AFC South earlier, but then he started winning with the AFC South. <laughs> and he liked it a little bit better. How it always happens. What is this? This is something. This is something different. A little retro helmet. Oh. Hey, Blake Miller, here's the NFC East. How about Ron Jaworski? We got little Jaws action on the full-size authentic Ron Jaworski, legendary Eagles quarterback, ESPN analyst. He was a 1980 Pro Bowler, NFC Player of the Year that year, too. Ron Jaworski, believe it or not, that ESPN older man was a boss in the NFL. Good quarterback, Jaws. He also played for the Rams, by the way, who are playing today. Uh, but this is Jaws on a retro Eagles kit. Uh, so Blake Miller uh, looked for the win. He got it. Ron Jaworski, nice hit. Let's get that elusive dub right now. Norman, I'm sorry, man. Norman, it's coming. You are definitely overdue for that big win. Blake Miller, though, congratulations. Uh, what's your team, Blake? What's your team, Norman? Uh, I'm not sure what team you guys like. I always like to ask all the folks in our break room uh, what teams they like. I know Chris Hammers is a Packers guy. We did get him an Amon Green item earlier today. Dwayne is, of course, a Bengals guy. Uh, not sure who Jason or Alfie like, if you guys want to let us know as well. My normal team is Carolina. Okay, the Carolina Panthers. Uh, we just had like uh, we just had some sick cleats of Cam Newton in our cleat series. So we just had Cam Newton in our break room. We do get a lot of Christian McCaffrey in our break room as well, Stephen. Good old so. CMC. CMC. He's got to stay healthy, though. Got to stay healthy. That's his problem. Broncos. Uh, that Jason Short is sweeping out. Broncos. Excellent. Well, we have Champ Bailey in here all the time, too. We're looking for Bronco hits. We had a sick Randy Gratishar mini earlier today. Uh, that was a sick-looking mini. So, anyways, we are all caught up on the breaks. Uh, what's close right now, Steven? What is close? What is close currently? For... Not really close to much. Wide open on Alexander and the greats. Number two. Seven away on Circle the Wagons. Number eight away on Playoff Bound. Six away on Championship Mini Helmet Series. Six away on the Pinnacle. And nine away on the good old Multi Slam. All right. Let's close those breaks up, guys. Uh, let's fill up some breaks. We did just have an order coming in. Let's see what we got here. Uh, that's Colton Bicker hopping in on the jerseys. Just two jersey breaks left. And two minis left. Uh, live near Panthers too. Hope to get better soon, says Norman. Got some nasty alternative auto helmets for the Panthers, says Blake Miller. That sounds sick. What players do you have? I was a big Steve Smith fan uh, back in the day for the Panthers. He was he was a speedster wide receiver. Really fun watching him play. Uh, he was on my one of my original fantasy teams. I have gone undefeated in fantasy only once, Steven. My very first year playing fantasy, I went undefeated, won the whole league. I thought it was going to be that way the rest of the way. <laughs> Hasn't gone as well since. Uh, but I had Peyton Manning the year he set the original touchdown record uh, with the Colts when he passed Dan Marino. This was back in the day. Yeah. So, uh, good stuff. Good stuff. I uh, do want to let some folks know about some of the series we have at the moment. Uh, I will say this Pinnacle Helmet series is, is pretty sick. Uh, we did like 12 of these. Uh, last week with you, Steven, we still have that Antonio Gates Speed Flex. If you're watching Regimal, uh, just nine boxes left. We still have this uh, Brian Erlocker, Dick Butkus, Mike Singletary, triple signed Bears helmet. Colton Bicker, if you're watching, you can get three Bears in one. And we have just nine boxes left. So one in nine chance you get that Bears helmet. A lot of good extra and more helmets in this series. Uh, the Pinnacle is an absolutely loaded series. That is definitely one I strongly recommend for you folks. Uh, the Pinnacle would be a great one to hop in on. And then the Playoff Bound, our chase item. I uh, got a whole bunch of good headliners in here. Travis Kelsey, Stefan Diggs on Flashes. Uh, chase Claypool on the Eclipse. J.J. Watt as well. I know Colton likes uh, J.J. Watt too. That is an excellent hit right there. Uh, and then, obviously, our minis, we're still looking for that Tyree Kill Cheetah. Uh, we are down to just six slots and just two breaks left in the minis. This is it. This is it for the minis. Just two breaks left. 
uh, Devontae Adams, Jamar Chase. Those are guys we've pulled. Uh, but I do know that I think we still have this Tyreek Hill out there as well. Uh, so let's let's get rolling on those. Uh, it could be an excellent, excellent show, Steven. Yeah, it sounds like a plan. The Rams are setting up for three. They take the lead. A minute 46 remaining. Niners getting the ball back. All right, Niners get a, get a field goal. 20 all. We head to overtime uh, again for the okay. second time in the conference championship game. Uh, that is a possible scenario right now. And how many times last week? Twice? I know it all came down to the last second. I think we had one overtime win, but the other three games were last second field goals in oh, regulation. Yeah. Yes. So maybe that's why the Chiefs didn't win. They were trying to become like the first team ever to win two overtime playoff games. So it's trying to do too much. <laughs> trying to do too much. It's too it's too hard. Too too hard. I mean they're going to be back there next year. <laughs> They'll be back. Yeah, exactly. They'll be They've back, been in the so. AFC Championship all four years that Patrick Mahomes uh, has been the starting quarterback. Not bad. Yeah. So there's nothing to hang your head on there. Well, we are going to see how this last minute 46 hands out. Let's see it. Let's see some good action. Let's go wagons again, says Norman. I agree. Let's circle up those wagons. Let's do the wagons. Six slots remaining in the wagons. Uh, guys, let us know what breaks you want to get into. Let us know uh, what breaks uh, you want to see tonight. Uh, sometimes if you throw out a suggestion, someone else hops in, and that's how we fill up a break. So if you're out there, uh, let us know what breaks you would like to see at the moment. It is up to you guys. Whatever you guys want to play, uh, we will do. Circle up those wagons. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wagons six away. It's a relatively cheap price. And if we close it out, we'll get a new series tomorrow. Yeah, we'll get a new jersey break series, a new mini helmet series. Uh those are all gonna drop tomorrow. If we close out the minis tonight, we close out the jerseys tonight. A brand new series for both with fresh headliners. I have not seen Tyreek Hill pulled in ironically either the championship minis or the jersey break. The fastest receiver in the NFL. Uh, that is a headliner that I haven't seen pulled. I will say this. We do have personal and retail orders. It is possible that he's gone on those, but I have not seen Tyreek Hill pulled in our break room in either the Jersey break or the championship mini, Stephen. Uh, so would love to see some Tyreek Hill action. That would be great to, great to pull. Yes. Uh, do you believe in Jimmy G here? Jimmy G did lead him back last time against the Rams. I'm calling Jimmy G's going to hit up Kiddo. He's going to hit up Debo Samuel. And we're going to go to overtime. Uh, Robbie Gold, by the way, has never missed a playoff kick in his career. Keep that in mind. The former Bears kicker has never missed a playoff kick in his career. Uh, he is as clutch as they get. Yeah, that was an excellent defensive stop right there. It's the third down for the, the Niners. All right. Well, it's obviously four down territory. That much is, is a given. Oh. We're saying, I'm seeing folks saying Rams interception. Rams interception. Okay, there you go. Rams win. Yeah, Rams are going to win. There you have it. I, I did have the Niners plus three and a half, so maybe they can kneel here and not, not get me that loss on that line. <laughs> wow. Wow. How about them Rams? Well, they brought Matthew Stafford in so they can get to the Super Bowl. And that's what's going to happen. And that's what's going to happen. Holy moly. That was just a silly play by, by Jimmy G. And that's the problem with Jimmy G a lot of people have. Take a sack. Uh, live another down. Yeah. See it on fourth down, Jimmy G. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hey, guys. The NFL game is over. Another three-point game. Another one-possession game. All that means is the way to have fun now is to play in our break room let's make it happen let's fill up some breaks let's have some fun it's gonna be a good night uh, jalen ramsey is another guy we have in our break room in several series steven uh jalen ramsey for the rams uh he is a guy that we have in our break room a lot recently yeah would love to see that pool tonight uh would love to see uh, George Kittle, I think, is in that playoff bound platinum helmet series as well. Uh, so a lot of good stuff. Sorry to our guys, Sean Plazola and Nestor Rodriguez, big 49er fans. 
Common, who is the only Bulgarian-born player in the NHL? Oh, gosh. I feel like you asked me this another time, Bob. Ends in EV or OV. That's what I'll go with. Let's go with Common Georgiev. That's what, that's what I'll roll with, Bob. Bob is a big NHL guy. He was walking some Georgiev. There you go. I had a feeling it was Georgiev. Alexander Georgiev, goalie for the Rangers. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Go those Henrik Lundqvist shoes. All right, Matthew Shepard. Matthew Shepard hopping into our break room. Just uh, took up two slots in our Alexander and the Great Steven. Nice. Thank you very much, Matthew Shepard. Uh, that should get us six away in Alexander and the Greats. A new customer. A new customer, six away in Circle the Wagons, eight away in Playoff Bound, six away in the Championship Minis, six away on the Pinnacle, nine away on the Multisport Slabs. Uh, let's knock off some money on our Dutch. I haven't even had a chance to knock off the money. Uh, let's go from 460. Uh, let's, go, let's go 420 on this full-sized authentic Bob Greasy, 72, 17, and 0. Pop the champagne. The only undefeated team in NFL history in both the regular season and the playoffs. Bob Greasy was the quarterback. He was hurt. I know Bob Boulay. I know he missed some of those games, but he had a great career. Pro and college football Hall of Famer. 1977 NFL passing yard leader. Or excuse me, passing touchdown leader. So let's make it happen. A hop in for the Dutch, hop in on the brakes. Uh, looking forward to a fun show the rest of the night. Uh, first thoughts on the Super Bowl, Steven and everyone else. Uh, do we like the Rams or do we like the Bengals? First thoughts on the Super Bowl. What are we, what are we thinking? Who day? Who day? Who day? Steven's going who day? I've, I've come too far to, not, to just hop off the bandwagon. I don't know how we're going to stop Aaron Donald. We, they probably won't stop Aaron Donald. But they had a solution for it today, so I figured that you're going to implement sure. something of that nature again. Quick quick hits and Joe Burrow's pocket po uh, pocket escaping abilities. Yeah, so Joe Burrow uh, has been sacked more than any other quarterback in the NFL this year. Uh, Aaron Donald is one of the best sack guys in the NFL. Von Miller is also pretty good. Just a great pass rush for the Rams. My first thought is the Rams have the pass rush. They should win. But the Bengals were the underdog against the Chiefs, underdog against the Titans. There's something special about the Bengals right now. Uh, interesting enough, that game is going to be in L.A., but we just saw the Rams basically, it felt like a road game. San Francisco mm -hmm. felt like they had more fans. So I don't know about this home field advantage for L.A. if it's a thing or not. Uh, but And the Super Bowl is much more cor corporate. Yes, it is. It's much, much more, more corporate. corporate right. It's so, not the local fans coming exactly. in. Exactly. Uh, happy for Matthew Stafford, though. Uh, that guy was a tough luck loser on a lot of really, really bad Lion teams. Uh, happy to see Matthew Stafford uh, get to the Super Bowl. He had no playoff wins entering the playoffs. Matthew Stafford uh, has now led the Rams to three straight wins. And quite frankly, he's been great. Uh, they fumbled on offense, uh, but he's been the guy. Their running game hasn't been as great. Uh, today, Matthew Stafford was 31 of 45, 337 pass yards, two touchdowns, one interception, his first interception uh, of the playoffs, Stephen, this year. Uh, so Matthew Stafford certainly did pretty good, pretty good for Mr. Stafford. Came out to prove a point, and the point so far has been proven. Sure. Bob is saying Canada 2, U.S. men's national team 0, USA uh, taking a hard loss in World Cup qualifying Canada, Bob, I know is first in the CONCACAF region for World Cup qualifying, so not as bad of a loss as it may seem. Canada, um, Canada on the up and up? Canada on the up and up. They've got that Alfonso Davies guy who plays for Bayern Munich. He's a defender. He's really, really fast. So uh, speed, speed kills. Speed kills. We see it in the NFL. We see it in all kinds of football. If you're looking for speed, Tyree Kill, the fastest receiver in the game, I uh, haven't seen him pulled in Circle the Wagons jerseys. Haven't seen him pulled in our championship minis. We're down to just two breaks in each of those. Uh, got some great helmets in our playoff bound platinum series. Travis Kelsey, Stephon Diggs, Jalen Ramsey, George Kittle, J.J. Watt, Jalen Hurts. We did pull Jalen in this afternoon. And then Chase Claypool are the headliners. 
I think it's going to be a close Super Bowl game. I'm interested to see who do you think the favorite's going to be? The Rams. The Rams will be the favorite? Probably by like, I'm going to say it's going to start out at like three and a half. Okay. And then it's going to get up to like five and a half and probably finish around four and a half. I think it's going to be about four and go down to about three. I think we're looking at three to four points. I think the Bengals got to get a lot of respect for that I, I win against the Chiefs. I, I was like, they gave the Chiefs seven. <laughs> well, hey, if the line is going to be five, then I'll have to bet Bengals plus five. Uh, but we'll yeah, see. It's going to be a close game. All the games have been close. It would be a major disappointment to come to the Super Bowl and it's just like a literally a blowout. Yeah. The last six playoff games, Stephen, five of them were three points. Five were decided by exactly three. Then we had six, which was the so, Chiefs' overtime winner touchdown. against the Bills. Well, yeah, which was a walk-off touchdown. Walk-off touchdown. So the game before was the game before was incredible. So it's 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 been all close games in the NFL so far. I uh, wouldn't expect anything different in the Super Bowl. And that plays to your point about how you know the the all the team every team's lost four games. But you know you know you don't know who's gonna win. It's such a you coin, don't. It's such a coin flip. Yeah, you might so, as well flip the coin. Mm-hmm. What up, Michael? How Mike? Mike, how's it going? Mike, how you doing? What's up, Michael? I was like, Michael Byer. That's our guy, Michael Byer. One of our breakers in our break room. Mike was producing this afternoon. Uh, glad you're watching, Mike. We're looking forward to uh, some fun breaks. Hopefully, you're having a great night at home. Uh, maybe eating some steak. We were talking about steak in the early show. Uh, what type of steak? How do you like your steak, Stephen? Uh, Are you a ribeye guy? Or like, what? what's your favorite kind of steak? When we go all out in steak, you know, we're talking like the filet mignons of the world. There you go. Delicious. Uh, my girlfriend just gives me a different steak to try every week. So I uh, I like it medium rare. Medium rare. I like it a little bloody. I like it about medium rare as well. Or medium, medium. I'd say medium is actually my normal role. Medium's good too. You put a little A1 sauce on yours or no? Because uh, I do not. Okay, because Sean Alcaraz does. And he gets a lot of heat for it apparently. I am good, sirs. I did not have steak. I made breakfast for dinner tonight. Right. That is that is a championship move, Mike. Exactly. Championship move for sure. I agree with that wholeheartedly. If I had a second option, that was that was it. That was it. Uh, can never go wrong with breakfast. Uh, four slots away now on the Circle of the Wagons, by the way. Uh, we just had an order coming in there. Uh, thank you very much, Matthew Shepard. Matthew Shepard's a new guy, right? Yeah. Uh, he's he's closing his in on a couple order, breaks. His first order was on Alexander and the Greats. Okay. This one was the one preceding it. All right. Alexander and the Greats, by the way, six slots remaining. This is a pretty sick series as well. Uh, we've got a Stefan Diggs Flash, Sean Alexander Lunar, Tyreek Hill Lunar, Jalen Ramsey Lunar, Antonio Gates Flash. Those are guys I haven't seen pulled. We did pull the Brian Dawkins this afternoon. That was sick. The Brian Dawkins flash. But you have Sean Alexander, uh, MVP in 05, set the touchdown records. Stephon Diggs led the league in receiving yards last year. Tyreek Hill, the fastest receiver in the game. Jalen Ramsey, he'll be in the Super Bowl. And then Antonio Gates, all-time leader in receiving touchdowns by a tight end. Uh, let's get into Alexander and the greats. And we do have non-headliners in there like Champ Bailey, Fred Taylor, Dallas Clark, Amon Green. Pretty good series, Steven. And more. And more. Uh, Bob is saying my strip, Angus, USDA Prime, aged 45 days, medium with a baked potato and a glass of Shiraz. That sounds amazing, Bob. That literally sounds absolutely amazing. I am jealous of that. So specific with the 45 days. Yeah, indeed. All right, hey, Scott Thompson is back in the break room. Uh, Scott, like myself, is heartbroken about that Chiefs loss. But, hey, maybe get yourself a dub, Scott. We're now one away in the jerseys. If you believe in closer magic, one slot away uh, in the jersey, Stephen. Just one away. Yeah. We pulled a Michael Vick earlier in the jersey series. If that's any sign of perhaps some luck we have in the jerseys. What's up, guys, says Scott. Oh, baby, them Bengals. Mike. Mike was right. Mike told everyone to hop in when it was 21-3. Hop in on the Bengals' money line. Make some mad money. Mike was right. No, he, yeah. he said that I jinxed the Chiefs, and I'll be honest, Mike, I did. I definitely jinxed the Chiefs today. 
I will take responsibility. Hey, who in the chat bet that money line when I called it at plus 600, says Mike? Hey, who who in the chat bet the money? Who's been calling Bengals money line this week? Me. Steven! Steven! I put the money out on it. Steven had I him all week. I that plus 600. Ah. Ah, good question, Bob. Mike, I just... Like? Mike, I just gave Sean your address. That's excellent. Scott, Scott, Scott is getting a little revenge on Mike saying he gave Sean his address. There you go. Oh, closer magic for the one and only Tyson Langston. That's that's what they call him. They call him closer magic Tyson. Tyson Langston. Uh, Scott Thompson, by the way, uh, sent me a little message of some sick uh, Mahomes helmets he has. Those right. Mahomes helmets are great. Uh, I'm not going to back off on Mahomes just because he had a bad second half. Uh, it is a long career and a lot of seasons. Uh, Patty Mahomes now uh, in at home in the playoffs is up to 26 touchdowns and three interceptions. That's a pretty good TD to interception ratio, Stephen. Uh, he's human. It showed in the second half he was not on, but I think his success speaks for itself. All I know is when one guy retires, there'll only be one active quarterback to have beaten him in the playoffs. Did we and close the championship minis too? Uh, oh, did you put together the wrong one there? For what? Uh, Circle of the Wagons number two is closed. And yeah, I, see... I know. I got to... Oh, you got to change that name up there? For what? Uh, I'm seeing a green checkmark championship minis. Is that the right list? Just want to make sure. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, that might not be. Hold on. Okay. Yeah, Steven will correct that. We'll be good, though. We'll get rolling on that break. Sadly, sports betting... Where I am isn't legal yet, but I definitely would have been with you, Michael. I don't bet on sports. I buy stocks. Better return yeah, on yeah. investment, Bob, we know. says Bob. Bob, we know. All right, 49. Yeah. Tyson is calling 49. Uh, Steven, you can update that list. I'll get 49. Uh, Tyson, looking for 49. Could Bob, the... give me your best stock bets then. Come on. Are you a stock guy too, Steven? I mean, I listen to other people's advice. Okay. I am happy to hear what they have to say about stuff. Cause I don't know anything about it. Okay. But if Bob knows something and wants to share some information. Sure. Please. I'm all about a better ROI. You know, Bob is probably right. With how unpredictable sports betting has been this year, I got to get into stock markets myself. That's probably some good advice. All right. Norman Privet, Colton Bicker, Matthew Shepard, Scott Thompson, and Ty Tyson Langston are all in here. Circle the wagons number two. Guys, just one circle the wagons left. One circle the wagons left. And then we are done with that series. We'll drop a New Jersey series tomorrow. Still haven't seen Tyreek Hill in this series, uh, but it is possible that he went on a personal. Always want to make that known to our customers. We've had probably about half a dozen retail orders in this series. So both more likely than not, he's still in there. Uh, but not 100% sure. All right, here we go. Norman Privet, you're in the NFC North. Scott Thompson, NFC South. Matthew Shepard, NFC East. Colton Bicker, out in the NFC West. Tyson, AFC North. Matthew in the AFC South. Scott has the AFC East. And how about this? Scott Thompson has the AFC West. He's a big Chiefs fan. He's a Cheetah fan. Could the Cheetah be here? Sports betting is entertainment and fun. Ain't nothing fun about stocks except money, LOL, says Mike. Norman P. says it's Singletary. He's saying Mike Singletary. Oh, how about this, Steven? Here he is, the cheetah, Tyreek Hill. How about it? Headliner hits. Fastest receiver in the game. Top five receiver in the game. Didn't have a great game today, but he's had so many great games in his career. A really short and sweet signature. I saw red, says Scott. He's got it. Scott, you got your AFC West hit. Scott's a Chiefs fan. The cheetah is all yours. Tyreek Hill. Congratulations, Scott Thompson. How about it? Bounce back quickly, Scott. Sweet baby, hell yeah. That's right. That's awesome. Wait, hey, Chief fan to a Chief fan. We deserve something good, Scott. You deserve that hell jersey after that heartbreaking loss today. Awesome. Tyreek Hill. Second to last box. Save the second to last for last. For best. 
Okay. Bob, Bob bought eight sh shares of Microsoft I mean, at 240. They did, they did just buy that whole video game thing. Yep. Microsoft is about to take off, probably. Up to 308 right now. All right, Bob. Tell him, Bob. Thank you, guys. That is awesome. Scott, you are welcome. I know you're big, big and more into jerseys. You're not looking for minis. You're bringing the jerseys and full size authentics. Uh, we do have a cheetah as well, uh, possibly in our mini helmet series. Tyreek Hill is out there in our minis. And we do have a Travis Kelsey in the playoff bound platinum helmets, by the way. Uh, Travis Kelsey is out there in our playoff platinum bound helmets. Scott Thompson, if you want to play those, that is also our chase item of the day, Steven. Sweet. That was fun. Tyreek Hill. All right, Bob, but what's your next prediction? What's your next call? On? Yeah, the next call. I need the next one, man. Steven yeah. wants that, that info, yeah. Bob. <laughs> Steven wants that info. I know you're a man of wise, wise knowledge. You're here to learn. But that is a good call. Microsoft did buy Activision. $79 billion deal. Are you looking at Boeing? All right. Is that the That's airplane the air company? The airline or the airplane parts company? I think I think a Boeing is a type of airplane. Plane. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. Six away in Alexander and the Greats. Eight away in the playoff bound platinum helmets. Six away in the minis. That is a double box break. Six away on the pinnacle. Nine away on the multi sports slabs. What do you guys want to play right now? Uh, let us know. Let's hop in and fill up some breaks. If you throw something out in the chat that you want to play, maybe someone else will want to play the same thing. Uh, so let us know if there's something that you're interested in playing. Uh, see if someone else wants to do the same thing. They make aircraft, says Bob. Okay. Yep. <laughs> cool. At 190, did something big happen, Bob? Have they, have they just had some steady growth? I don't know. All right, here's our Dutchie, this Bob Greasy full-size authentic Dutchie. Uh, let's chunk off a little bit more on that one, Stephen. It's at 420. Uh, let's go 380 on that, 380 on this one. Don't sleep on the multi-sports slabs. Mike, I couldn't agree more. I would love to do a multi-sports slab break. Uh, there are some six slabs in there. Definitely haven't seen that LeBron James or Josh Allen get pulled yet. Would love to do a multi-sport slab break. Would love to do a pinnacle break, too. The pinnacle is a series that folks are sleeping on. What is it that you say, Stephen? Check out the pinnacle and more section. Yeah. Uh, we pulled guys like Devontae it. Adams, Edrin James. Uh, those weren't even, like, headliners and not even, like, the listed. There were and more guys in that yeah. pinnacle. Uh, we still have that triple sign Bears helmet. Brian Urlacher. Dick Butkus, Mike Singletary out there in the pinnacle. Uh, so two series folks are sleeping on right now are the pinnacle and the multi-sport slabs for sure. I uh, haven't done any of those breaks in today's show. Would love to do that. Pinnacle has a Kelsey in it too. All right, there you go, Scott. That's a good point. A whole bunch of great stuff in the pinnacle. Uh, let's fill up a pinnacle break. We have just six slots remaining in the pinnacle. Uh, and Scott, you know this. I like to say this. We have Kelsey and Tyreek Hill in almost every series we have. In all honesty, if you're a Travis Kelsey and Tyreek Hill fan, uh, they are in almost every series we have. And that's because we had a big Chiefs signing uh, about six weeks ago, and we have a whole bunch of uh, Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey items at the moment. Bob is giving out some, some info. There you go, Bob. Hitting them up with the info. All right, Bob, I'm in. <laughs> Happy to Hey, can you tell me what build and build spots on our account need? Um, I can. Do you know? I can tell him, Steve. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, so, Todd, fulfilled on your account means that that is something you won, and we ship the item to you. It doesn't mean that it's arrived necessarily, uh, but if it shows up as fulfilled. Uh, that means that you have won something and we've shipped it to you. Unfulfilled really could be something you didn't win. Like you enter in a break and you didn't win anything. It would show up as unfulfilled still uh, because you didn't win anything. So fulfilled would mean that we will ship something to you, Todd. 
That's that's what it would mean. Well said. Indeed. Indeed. Pat, I think, is a Patriot fan. Uh, who is everyone cheering for in the Super Bowl? Who do we think is going to win in the Super Bowl, guys? And what are your teams in our break room? Let us know if you haven't told us what team you rep. But the break is finished. Which break are you talking about, Todd? Which break? And typically, that's something our shipping department does. Yeah. So you may have actually won something uh, in Saturday or Sunday show or Friday night show, and that wouldn't show that because uh, they haven't shipped it out yet. Our uh, shipping team works uh, after the noon show on Monday through Friday. Yeah. Um, uh, he was in Circle the Wagons, number one. But, yeah, he unfortunately wasn't able to win. So I just think it just said it's going to be unfulfilled until either Luke ships out the item. Sure. Or I'm not. Or if you don't win, I think it still shows yeah, up as unfulfilled. Uh, exactly, yeah. It, when it says that, it doesn't mean the break is complete, right? Not necessarily, because I'm yeah. seeing uh, unfulfilled on several people who bought in break spots that aren't closed right now. Mm -hmm. It just means that we haven't shipped anything to you. When it says fulfilled, all that means is that we are shipping something to you. Mm -hmm. uh, Bob is saying, Todd, would you want to trade for a Willie McGinnis Eclipse Authentic or a Steve Grogan Flash replica? Yeah, Bob got that sick Steve Grogan flash replica. I think we pulled it for maybe last Sunday, Steven. It was pretty, pretty sick. Let's get Steve moving. Grogan. Yeah, let's get moving on the orders, guys. We are a little slow right now, uh, hitting the 1 o'clock hour. Definitely am not close to saying goodbye. We're, we'll be on here until at least 9.30 regardless. But we do got to get moving on our breaks Got to get moving on our orders. We are pretty slow at the moment uh, as far as orders coming in. Uh, so let us know what series you want to play and maybe hop in and get those orders if you want to roll with something right now. Uh, pretty slow on the break page at the moment, Stephen, unfortunately. Uh, that GM Super Bowl odds are live. Okay. What do we got? Did I not say it's going to start off at three and a half? Three and a half? It is three and a half. But do you really think it's going to move to five and a half? I think... Because I think it's going to stay about three and a half, personally. It could stay there. I was just saying, there's two weeks of fluctuation. Oh, there's a lot of fluctuation yeah, to be yeah, had. Yeah. A lot of fluctuation. But I would, take, I would take the Bengals plus three and a half. I would take the Bengals plus three and a half. Well, given how many games are decided by three points or less... Maybe you can sort of, what I'm thinking about doing is... 2320 Rams, you get away it, with your money. Well, how about this? If it stays that way, what about throwing down money on the Rams' money line and the Bengals to cover? You can maybe hedge your bets, and maybe you can win both. Whoever was asking about a trade, message me, says Todd Peterson. Uh, so Bob, Todd is on Facebook. Yes, so he doesn't uh, see your messages. He's not going to be able to A, see your messages, and B, I don't think he uses Facebook. Yeah, Bob doesn't use Facebook, but maybe, uh, maybe Todd, if you've got your email, drop your email down, and and Bob can maybe or Bob can drop his email. drop Bob can drop his email down as well. I need the Rams to win for my playoff bracket, says Scott Thompson. Okay. Well, the Rams are the favorite. Uh, we will definitely see. They were in the Super Bowl a few years ago, losing with Jared Goff on at their quarterback. I'm not on Facebook. Bboule at msn.com. Uh, says Bob Boulay. Bboule at msn.com. I didn't do any playoff brackets. Uh, had I done them, I think I would have had the Chiefs and the Rams or the Chiefs and the Bucks, and I would not have been right. Pro inspect nw at gmail.com is saying Todd. Okay. And hey, and, and Bob and, and Todd, you guys can see the message is on the top left-hand corner of our stream right now. So if you want to write down those emails and save them for yourselves, you guys can see those. You won't see it on our thread, but all the messages pop up on the top left-hand corner of the break page. All right, guys. We're still six slots away in so many breaks. Steven, I say that four is the magic number. Once we get down to four or less, those things flip like a hurry they yep. flip them 
We got him broken. We are six away on Alexander and the Greats. We're six away on the Championship Minis. Six away on the Pinnacle. Uh, hop in there, get it to four away, and that will close probably within five minutes. That's the magic number. Get it to four, and it closes fast. Yeah, my brackets were randomized. I didn't get to pick. Okay, Scott. There the you go. We're randomized and got the Bengals. It's just... They're living just living life right now. They're living <laughs> life right now. The Bengals. <laughs> I wonder what that. the what the Bengals Super Bowl odds were before the season. If you threw down money on the Bengals to win before the season started, you can make out with some mad money right now. If you were betting on the Bengals, plus fifteen thousand. Plus, okay. So, what would that be if you bet a hundred? Would that be a hundred fifty thousand, uh, or would that be? I'm pretty sure it'd be one point five million. Uh, if you bet a hundred dollars, I think it's one fifty thousand. One hundred fifty thousand, yeah. <laughs> there you go, Bob. Well, hey, that's that's one way to look at it. Uh, that's a lot of money. I think I saw either plus fifteen thousand. Holy cow, Blake! So I think at yeah, they were plus fifteen thousand. And I think that's for a hundred bucks. I think that's a hundred fifty thousand payout. Yep. Yeah. Or fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand? It might be fifteen thousand. Yeah, I think it'd be fifteen thousand dollars. Okay. Either way, that's a lot of money. It's a hundred dollars. Yeah. yeah. For a hundred dollars, yeah, that's a lot of money. That is a whole bunch of money. Yeah. Money. I mean, you can min, min good money betting on the Bengals now as the underdog. <laughs> two straight weeks underdog. They beat the one seed in the AFC. They beat the two seed. Uh, they beat the class of the AFC and the NFL and the Chiefs. Uh, if they can beat the Chiefs, why not beat the Rams, you know? Why not? It'll be two number nine quarterbacks, Joe Burrow and Matthew Stafford. Uh, different stages of their career. Matthew Stafford is on the tail end of his career, lacking that Super Bowl ring. Joe Burrow has a lot of time, but if Joe Burrow wants to be among the all-time greats, this is how you get things started. In your second year, I believe... Patrick Mahomes won a Super Bowl uh, in his second year as a starter. Yep. Tom Brady, I think his first year as a starter, yep. but maybe second year you overall. Got to a good start. Yeah, you got to get off to a good start. Uh, it definitely helps. And he has an opportunity to. And Dan Marino, by the way. Dan Marino was in the Super Bowl, I think, maybe in like his second season ever and never made it back again. Yep. You, and you never know. You can't take these opportunities uh, for granted. If you're the Bengals and the Rams, this is the time to, to close. I know... We can say that Joe Burrow will be back there, and you know what? He probably will be. Uh, but you just never know. You Nothing know, is certain. You know, every it's gonna seem it's just gonna go back and forth every year. You know, Bengals had the Chiefs number this year, but you know what? The Bills might have everyone's number next year. Yeah, and, and it could be could be Burrow, could be Mahomes, could, could be Josh just, Allen. It could easily just be Mahomes again. It could and, be any of those guys. Was there ever a doubt? Like you know, sure. You never know. Yeah, it's fifteen thousand for one hundred dollars, says Blake. Burrow is the first number one pick QB to bring his team to a Super Bowl within his first two years. Yeah, that pick definitely worked out for the Bengals. I'll tell you very much. They were very happy to have Joe Burrow as the number one overall pick. And there was a lot of question marks with Joe Burrow after he got hurt in his rookie season. Uh people were sleeping on him. They're like, is Burrow gonna be back? Is he gonna be the same player? Uh, the story is always, can the Bengals block for him? That was the story going into the AFC title game. Well, guess what? They did just enough, and he got the win. i got to give a lot of credit to the Bengals' defense, too. Yes, they played. The Bengals' defense held the Chiefs to three points in the second half. Uh, got that key interception in overtime. Uh, Cincinnati's defense took a lot of strides forward this season. Uh, great defensive performance uh, by uh, the Bengals today. Didn't look great in the first half. Uh, but the second half, they were literally unstoppable. I mean, it was three and out, three and out, turnover, turnover. They believe in Joe Burrow, I believe. Well, the I defense, think... the whole team believes in Burrow, but I do think uh, got to give a lot of credit to their coaches, too. They they came up with a plan. I don't know what they said on at the halftime. Fly, on the fly. Yeah, yeah, whatever they said at halftime, it worked. Because yeah. Mahomes uh, had three touchdowns in the first half, over 200 yards in the first half. Uh, they were doing whatever it is they wanted. It looked like a video game out there. Yeah, it did like, it and and the second half, not very much. Uh, one key point in the game, it was 21-10 to 10 Chiefs. They went for it on fourth down late in the first half. They could have taken a field goal had they gone up 24-10.
Would things have been different? I don't know. It is hard to second guess Andy Reid. He's he's done it big for a long time. Yeah. But I don't know. It comes down to those little moments you're going to think about for the rest of your life. Sure. How do you micromanage this and that? It's just the way the game played. That's the way the cookie crumbles. It was certainly a tough, tough game for the Chiefs. Um, all right, guys. How are you guys doing? Is there anything you guys would like to play right now? Pretty slow on the orders. Uh, let us know if there's anything you guys want to break today. Uh, we are more than happy uh, to break it for you guys. Bob, Bob cracks me up with some of his comments. But yeah, I think... I think it's going to be a good Super Bowl. What's the over-under set at, Steven? What's the over-under? Uh, I saw that was at, I want to say 49. 49? I want to say that. I could be very wrong. That seems a little high. I might bet the under on that. But then again, I don't know if I could because I want to see points in the Super Bowl. But that's just me. Sure that. 49 sounds fair, though. Uh, 49 and a half. 49 and a half. MGM. MGM. Yep. Well, I think both teams are going to have plenty of time to prepare for the opposing offense. But you can say the same about the offense preparing for the defenses. I do think we have a really talented defense in the Rams that actually has underachieved at times, but they've shown up in the playoffs. Uh, that and is a great my, defensive team. And that's my big question is how yeah. how are the Bengals going to find a way to stop Von Miller, Aaron Donald? It's going to be tough. No offense to your Chiefs. These guys are a lot oh, better. Oh, they're much better <laughs> pass rushers, <laughs> exactly. no doubt. Yeah. I think the Chiefs' offense is better. Yeah. Uh, but as far as pass rushers, it's not even close. Well, that's the best. The Rams, the Rams' pass rush is significantly and even, better. And even if the 49ers made it, I was going to be like, how are we going to stop the Bosa boy? And the Bosa, yeah. It, like, and Fred Warner's really good at linebacker, too. So it, it, It's going to be, I don't know. I, there's no way to quantify why I think they're going to win. I just think they're going to win. And you don't even need to use stats this year, Steven. There's been so many upsets. You can just say, I think that team's going to win. And guess what? They probably will. Yeah, like, it has been that type of season uh, in the NFL. I mean, do you remember the last week of the regular season? The Indianapolis Colts had to beat the last place Jaguars to make the playoffs. Yeah. And the Jaguars beat the Colts. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the Jaguars, I think, also beat the Bills in the season. Yeah, they did. Like... You never know. It's just and crazy. Any given Sunday, Saturday, whatever day we play on, it's just been a wild NFL season. Uh, and to have a team like the Bengals make it, who they had, what, four, five wins last year? Yep. And I know part of it was because Burrow did get hurt. Had he played the whole season, they might have got a few a more. Better, yeah. But they were under 500 the year before as well. Uh, so that's a team that, I mean, they had the number one overall pick two years ago. Yeah. You know you're bad when you got the number one overall pick. I mean, they were predicted to get fourth in the division. You have the Steelers, who are always a force. The Ravens with Lamar Jackson. Uh, Baker Mayfield coming off a good season. Supposed to be this, this struggled a lot. Year. This was supposed to be the Browns and year. The, and look who's in the Super Bowl of the of that division. It's the Bengals out of that AFC North. And common, Joe Burrow is never gonna be a top five arm talent. He's not gonna be that in terms like Josh Allen, Patrick Mahomes. Sure, but there's just he's some, cool. There's something about him. He's cool and know, calm. I don't know what it is. You just follow along with it. Yeah, uh, I was watching a play from uh, his junior year at LSU, and he took a shot. He was trying to he threw an interception, and sure. this guy blocked him, and he took an absolute blindside shot. His teammates said when he got up and looked at him that that he was a different person, and he was a different animal. Mm -hmm. And obviously, ever since then, he went on to win a national championship, number one overall pick, and now the AFC representation in the Super Bowl. Sure. So, sure. I don't know what it is about him. Obviously, they have elite weapons on the outside. They might not be called elite now. They just don't know that they're elite. Well, Jamar yet. Chase is elite. He I, was top five in I receiving think, yards this year. I think year. P. Higgins is going to be an elite receiver, too. Do you see how large he is? Over 1,000 yards receiving you're for not, P. Higgins. You're not going to be stopping T. Higgins. And those are second and third year players. Exactly. They don't like, well, rookie for Jamar, who will be second next year. They don't even know how good they are yet. Exactly. And, that's the, and Joe Mixon has obviously been just a sturdy back for them sure. for the past five years. So the, 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 the ceiling on this team is... It's up there. Well, I don't know the Chiefs are here to stay. The Bengals are here to stay. 
and the builds are here to stay. So and I'll tell you this, Tom Brady, he may retire, he may not. I think he's going to retire, but who knows with this. The NFL is going to be just fine without yeah. Tom Brady. Patrick Mahomes, exactly. Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Justin those Carver. guys are the future of the NFL. They're going to be just fine without Brady. They'll be just fine without uh, Aaron Rodgers. The NFL uh, is the top dog for a reason, and it's because we have so many great quarterbacks in the National Football League right now. Uh, it is a true joy to watch. I mean, for me, I still like Mahomes as number one quarterback in the NFL. I like Aaron Rodgers as two if he plays. Josh Allen is my number three. Joe Burrow is my number four. I'm not counting Tom Brady because I think he is retiring. But if we count Brady, Brady's for sure in the top five as well. And, you, and, you, and he's just a guy you're going to want for a game. Yeah, you, you know, will. It's not even about him being that we Obviously, he's going to play the regular season, but sure. you just want to be in the playoffs with that guy as your quarterback. And you know what? That actually uh, incites, though, Common, is, uh, I don't want to say insinuates, but like, the battle for the number one seed in the AFC for the next five to ten years. It's going to be incredible. It's going to be, A, incredible, but B, imperative to your success. Sure. Because odds are it's two and three are going to be Buffalo, Kansas City, or Cincinnati in whichever order. Well, and I'll tell you this. And they're going to have to match up with each other if it doesn't work out. And I do think Buffalo will have a tough division with the Patriots, but the AFC North will be tough. You, you better believe the Steelers will regroup. Yeah. Uh, the Ravens will regroup. Uh, the Browns still have a talented core. I actually think that this is a good time for the Bengals just because I think... And don't I sleep think, on the AFC West if they go get a guy named Aaron Rodgers. Right, Denver. the Broncos. <laughs> uh, I think the Chiefs have a better shot to be the number one seed. But in the NFL, it's crazy. Home field doesn't mean what it used to. I don't know what it is, but I mean... We just saw the Chiefs lose at Arrowhead Stadium. My point is not about having home field. My point is about not facing those guys early, earlier on in the playoffs. That's right. You want the one seed you or want two to be seed away from that. Sure, and that's what happened with the Bills. The yep. Bills had to play the Chiefs in the second round, and that's what happened to the Chiefs. <laughs> yeah, they had to. No well, matter what, and it's, I'll tell you what though, it was karma for the Bills. You lose to the Jaguars. That's what happens. Yeah, that is. That's, that's what happens. That is. Uh, that is what happens. I don't know how many teams win the Super Bowl that have lost to the best team in the regular the worst team in the regular season. Doesn't happen often. I don't think I don't think it's I think it speaks to the culture of your team. But I'll tell you yeah. this though, the Bengals had some weird losses too. The Bengals lost to our Chicago Bears, who yeah. we know are pretty bad. And the Bengals also lost to the Jets this season. First ever got you know Joe Bro's the first ever player to throw an interception on three straight passes. There you go. <laughs> like talk about a quick memory. I mean <laughs> The the Bengals lost against the Browns both times this season. Granted, the yeah, last spank, week they rested right? their players, but they got spanked against the Browns earlier this season. Uh, so it tells you, it shows you that I mean, anyone could beat anyone, and anyone could lose to anyone in the NFL. That is literally how close these teams are right now. And they were ten and six, and they were the four seed. Yeah. And who was and the Titans were the one seed at what thirteen and four? Thirteen and four. Yeah. And, without their running back, and they didn't obviously they weren't. No one believed in them. Sorry, guys. Like, just sure. No even, one believed in. Even I mean, Derrick Henry coming back. It, you can't just walk into the NFL game and just play it at that level you played at. It showed he had like thirty yards on ten carries. Part of it is your seasoning. Like, sure. Getting hit, getting hit in the regular season matters. You don't want to get hit badly, but getting those reps in that helps your body get used to it. That's right. You can't just uh, walk back into the AFC divisional playoffs and be like, "Yep, I'm Derrick Henry. I'm the reason we're a number one seed." But they got the one seed without him. That was what was really impressive because for the Titans. the guy who was more successful for them was Deontay Foreman. Deontay Foreman and was they pretty been good. they feeding him the ball. I know it's hard to sit there and be like, sorry, Derek, you're going to take a back Well, Deontay, Deontay Foreman, Foreman played better in that game. That's what he I'm saying. He was like yeah. literally their whole offense in that because game. Because the last six weeks, he's been a staple for them, running for over 100 sure. yards in each game. Sure, sure. Um, all right, guys, updating you on our break page. We did make some movements. Scott Thompson, thank you very much. Uh, for hopping in on our break page, we have just four slots remaining in Alexander and the Greats. Let me throw this bad boy up on the screen. We've got ourselves an Antonio Gates flash in here. We've got ourselves Stefan Diggs flash, Sean Alexander Lunar, Tyreek Hill Lunar, and Jalen Super Bowl Ramsey Lunar as well. I've got a great tight end in Gates, great running back in Alexander. 
two of the very best receivers in the game in Diggs and Kelsey, excuse me, Kelsey, Hill, Diggs and Hill, I'm thinking of Travis Kelsey, Tyree Kills, who I'm talking about, Alexander and the Greats, it is a six series, a hop in there, uh, let's fill that bad boy up, four slots remaining, that is our closest break, uh, we are also just five slots away in the Pinnacle, Pinnacle Helmet Series, sick list of speed flexes, Antonio Gates, speed flex is definitely out there, uh, look at these other guys, this and more section, this Brian Urlacher, Mike Singletary, Dick Butkus, triple signed Bears helmet. You can get three signatures. Hop in for 85 bucks. Have not seen that one pulled. That is a break room exclusive. Uh, that one has not been pulled. Uh, so gotta, gotta love it. Uh, that might be people on Facebook. We do have uh, quite a bit of other people watching. But yeah, we don't have that many people watching right now. So Scott... Now is the time for those that are watching to hop in and watch. So let's let's do it. Uh, that eyeball, Scott, typically will show what people are watching on the one that you're watching. So that might be a Facebook eye will show you who's watching on Facebook. The YouTube eye will show you who's watching on YouTube. And then you have uh, the Twitch one as well. So on my end, it's showing 12 people right now. But that's not always accurate. But not that many people watching. You do bring up a good point, Scott. So if you are watching and you want to hop in and watch our break and hop in with an order, uh, do it now. Do it now. Uh, we'll be on until 9.30, like I said. I'd like to give you guys at least an hour and a half at all times. If we get within two slots or less at 9.30, uh, we will stay on a little longer. But if we don't uh, get any orders in the next 11 minutes, uh, that could be it for the show. That could be it for the show uh, so hop in now and uh, get the orders rolling. Uh, we'll go rock bottom on the Dutch, though, Stephen. Let's go 320. Bob Greasy, full-size authentic lunar helmet, pro and college football Hall of Famer, quarterback for the 17-0 Dolphins, the only undefeated season in NFL history. Bob Greasy is up for 320 bucks as soon as Stephen updates it. Uh, that is as low as we will go on that full-size authentic uh four slots left in alexander the great let's fill up uh, that break uh four away we are really really close uh do you have that playoff bound list copied over steven i do all right so guys this is who we have in our top spot chase list so playoff bound is our chase item of the day james strode michael livingston colton bicker Dwayne robbie congrats again to your Bengals, Dwayne. Uh, Alfie Reyes, Bob Boulay, and Zachary Erickson. Uh, all you guys will have a chance for some UA cash at the end of the show, which I hope is not 9.30. I hope that it's after 10 o'clock. I uh, definitely want to keep rolling and stay on and fill up some breaks. Uh, but it could be at 9.30 if we don't get any orders coming in before that. Well, we're two away from the Alexander and the Great, so I think we should be able to do that. Okay, Chris Gibbs coming through. Chris Gibbs, and welcome. And Regimel, see how I close it out. All right, Regimel, tag the God. Regimel, welcome back to the break room. Uh, Regimel, we still have that Antonio Gates Speed Flex helmet up there on the Pinnacle. We have just nine boxes left in the Pinnacle series. So that means one of those nine boxes contain Antonio Gates. Uh, all the boxes in the Pinnacle that we have are up on the ticker. Uh, as for Alexander the Greats, if you are in that break, uh, let us know and get us a box number. Uh, we also have a whole bunch of personals. If you are one of these folks, Joseph, Daniel, Jeffrey, Jason, Josh, Katie, uh, let us know. We are happy to open your personal uh, live on the air. Uh, Alexander and the Greats, number two or number one, Stephen? Number two. Number two, excellent. Uh, let me know when that's ready, and I will uh, head to the randomizer. If you are in that break... That's right. Uh, Regimo and Scott, I know, are in there for sure. Can you get us a box number? Uh, five is saying Scott. Five is going off the ticker. Scott, you had box one and got yourself that uh, Brian Dawkins flash in the early show. That was probably the hit of the early show, Stephen. If we had a, what's the hit of the night show today? I feel like we had a lot of... Michael Vick. Michael Vick jersey. Uh, a little bit slow as far as hits. Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill jersey. Uh, so the jersey break have been hot today. Uh, so 
That just only means we're due for a sick helmet break. Uh, Alexander and the Greats, number five, is coming. Cool. This is the lowest box number we have left, I believe, in this series. Numero cinco. Numero cinco. Oh, there he is. Numero cinco. <laughs> Okay, R.I.P. to one of your favorite actors, Bob. R.I.P. Oh, it's a Cincinnati connection, too. All right, there's box number five. It's called out by Scott Thompson. Thank you very much, Scott. Regimo and Chris, thank you so much uh, for hopping in late and making this happen. Uh, looking forward to this break right here. All right, throw the randomizer up. We're going eight times for your divisions, guys. Alexander and the Greats has a lot of really, really good stuff uh, in this series, Stephen. We're very early in the series. Box five only means that there's a lot of really good stuff still left in this series. Oh, yes. uh, definitely would like to get into Alexander and the Greats. Uh, that's Sean Alexander, who set the touchdown record uh, that Priest Holmes had, then Danny and Tomlinson uh, broke it after him. Uh, so that Sean Alexander hit would be the NFC West, which is Matthew S., a new customer, Matthew Shepard. Uh, you can get yourself that sick Sean Alexander headliner. Chris Gibbs, you're in the NFC East. Regimo Taglicod, you've got the NFC North. Scott Thompson, you've got the AFC North. Regimo in the AFC South. Scott in the AFC East. And Chris Gibbs out in the AFC West. Uh, so that Stefan Diggs flash is in the AFC East. That's Scott Thompson. Uh, Sean Alexander Lunar, NFC West. Uh, that is Matthew. Uh, we've got Tyreek Hill Lunar, AFC West. Could be Chris Gibbs getting the party started late. Uh, and then Jalen Ramsey could be another NFC West hit. Matthew Shepard. Uh, so let's see what we got here. Alexander and the greats. Chris Roberts is calling AFC East. All right, Chris. Let's see. Let's see. AFC East would be Scott Thompson. Uh, could be a Stefan Diggs flash if that's the case. That'd be pretty sick. All right. <laughs> I almost called it, Steven. Chris has called it. It is the AFC East. It is the Buffalo Bill. It is Marv Levy, Ooh. Hall of Fame 01. One of the best signatures in the game. That's Marv Levy, the all-time leader in Buffalo Bills. Coaching history and when it comes to wins. Took them to four straight Super Bowls. Uh, they lost them all. But nonetheless, Marv Levy, Pro Football Hall of Famer. One of the all-time great coaches. Kind of weird he signed a helmet, but he sure did. Scott Thompson Getting himself to win. Marv Levy. Bingo, says Chris Roberts. There you go. Congratulations, go Scott. Marv. Taking home Marv Levy. Very nice. I want to get an Andy Reid helmet now. That would be cool. What about Bill Belichick? That'd be pretty sick. Sweet, I'll take it. Awesome, says Scott. Good night for Scott Thompson. Got the Tyreek Hill jersey. Now he gets the Marv Levy uh, full-sized replica helmet. It is a rep as our helmets are uh, in Alexander and the Greats. Steven, what's our closest break right now? Our closest break is... Is it the pinnacle? I believe it is the pinnacle. Five slots remaining. All right, five remaining on the pinnacle. The single best series we have in the room... Some sick full sized authentics. Uh, let's close out the pinnacle. Y'all need a coach dominated series. I like that. That's a good idea, Chris. I think we probably got to get some more coach items, though. Uh, I know Marv Levy is probably. What other coaches do we have? I feel like Marv Levy is the one coach I see in here a lot. I don't know if we have other coaches very often. Mike Ditka? Mike Ditka. We have Mike Ditka. Yeah, I, can't really think. I can't really think of other like head coach guys only. Uh, I have both Bill Parcells and Tom Coughlin 
on a giant's helmet with their Super Bowl inscription, says Bob. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, Ditka is the one uh, we seem to have in here a whole lot. Uh, Ditka tends to be in at least almost every rep series we do, Steven. I feel like we have Ditka in all of those. Yeah. Cool. Now, let's keep the night going, guys. Let's keep the show going. It is 927. Uh, don't want to go home yet. Uh, we do have two breaks that are not too far away. We are six away in the championship minis. We have just four boxes left in the minis that are available uh, for our minis. Just four left. Just one box available in Circle the Wagons. We close out a mini break. We close out a wagons break. You guys have a brand new break for tomorrow. Uh, five away on the pinnacle. Uh, Bob's got a Don Shula Dolphins mini also. All right. Uh, a lot of former players are assistant coaches. That's a good point, uh, Chris. That is a great point on the assistants. True. Colin uh, got a Super Bowl in Tampa Bay as the... Mike Tomlin? D-backs coach, yeah. Okay. That's how I started making his names. Well, we have Emmett Thomas, a chief in here. Uh, he was an assistant coach. Won the Super Bowl with the Washington football team back in the day. Uh, so there you go. Don Shula sounds pretty cool, though. I like that Don Shula, Bob. That sounds pretty pretty awesome. Uh, speaking of Bob. Oh, you know, who's, you know who's a coach that we have in here? Roger Craig. Roger Craig. Wasn't he the running backs coach? He probably was because he was a great running back. Byron Leftwich, Chris Roberts. Yeah, we don't. Have we had Byron Leftwich in here? I don't think I've seen him. I haven't seen Byron Leftwich, but uh, he is definitely a coach, a former player, uh, Byron Leftwich. Didn't he? He's the new Jaguars head coach, isn't he? Yeah, I believe he is. Byron Leftwich, going back to his uh, Jacksonville Jaguar roots. I like that. Never seen Leftwich here. Well, Bob would know. Bob has been here uh, longer than us, Stephen. He's been here pretty much, I feel like, I think he's only really been here since last year, but it feels like he's been there uh, in the ULI break room forever, which is great. It's a great place to be. Great place to be. All right, guys, let's close up another break. Five away from the pinnacle, just an absolutely sick, full-size, authentic series. Whole bunch of great items in our pinnacle helmet series. Uh, we are just five away there. Want to do one of those. And we'd like to do a mini break, just six away uh, on the minis. Let's do a mini break as well, guys. Uh, let's close out the mini series. Uh, we have just four minis left. That means we have two breaks left of the minis. I think we still have a Tyree kill out there in the minis, Steven. Uh, Want to close that out? We'd like to close out the last Circle of the Wagons. So far out of Circle of the Wagons, we had a Michael Vick and a Tyree kill. Yeah. Uh, talk about a hot series. True. That is pretty hot at the moment. Uh, we were in here last Sunday when we did 12 pinnacle breaks. Uh, we pulled Deion Sanders, Speed Flex. We pulled the Drew Brees, Full Size Authentic. Uh, it was Ray Lewis we pulled. I think we might have pulled Terrell Suggs as well. Uh, that was an the absolutely sick show. Yeah, very good. My two favorite coach items are a mini helmet signed by Herman Boone. My favorite movie, Remember the Titans, Herman Boone. Uh, he was the coach in Remember the Titans. Denzel Washington putting on an absolutely sick performance as Herman Boone. Denzel. Denzel. All right, guys. It is 9.31. Uh, we will give it until 9.45 at least. We'll stay on another 14 minutes. Uh, if we don't get within two or less in the next 14 minutes, uh, that'll be the show. Uh, but happy to stay on past 10 o'clock. Past 11 o'clock, we get rolling here. Uh, happy to stay on much longer for you guys and do a bunch of breaks. Uh, we do have to get within two slots or less by 9.45, though. So 14 minutes, a little preemptive last call. Six slots on the minis, five away on the pinnacles. Uh, Bob, do you have a Lamar Jackson jersey, says Chris Roberts. Chris, didn't you win a Lamar Jackson jersey? I feel like Chris has a Lamar Jackson jersey, but I could be wrong. Interesting. Steven, you see the bull score today? 130 to 116. Yes. 
Uh, Bulls looked pretty good. They had six different guys in double figures today. Uh, good, to, good for them to get healthy. I know they're still missing Alonzo. Uh, they're still missing uh, Caruso. But they do have their big three together. Vooch, Levine, uh, and DeRozan all playing. And Kobe White has been good off the bench. Uh, Ayu Desumu has been starting. He's been good. Yes. But we still miss our big boys. Oh, we got an order coming in. A couple orders. A couple of orders coming in. Zach Barrick and Brandon Barrick. Uh, the two barracks. We are now four away on the minis. All right, guys. Let's get those minis done. Four away on the minis. We also have only four minis left, which is two double box breaks. Would love, love to close out the minis tonight. A worst case, we do two of them, and then we leave two for the morning show to close it out then. Uh, let's fill the mini break. I agree, Big Yak. Let's fill that mini break. Just four of them left. And I still haven't seen that Tyree kill get pulled. Uh, so 50% chance we see him in this next break. 50% chance we see him in the next break. Uh, since it is a double box break. If he is in fact in there. Which could be a retail order. Uh, four away on the minis. Five away on the pinnacles. Five away on the pinnacles. Would love to do a pinnacle break. I don't know. We, we haven't done much pinnacle breaks lately, Steven. You know, so that's a... a line we can pull? A lot of headliners got pulled, but we still have that Antonio Gates speed flex. And you know that the non-headliners in that series have been just as good. I mean, yeah. Devontae Adams, Edron James, uh, Tony Romo, those are guys that were not headliners. And we still have that triple sign Bears linebacker helmet, I guess. People don't want that triple sign Bears helmet as much as I want it. At least I want to see it. A lot of our fan base and customers aren't, aren't from here necessarily. That is true. So. That is true. Uh, that makes be sense. A highly, highly sought item. That would be a much better item to do in an in-person live break. Yes, indeed. Like at our car, like at, our, at the national here or something. Uh, I just want to, I just want to pull that Bears helmet because it just would be such a fun helmet to see in person. I haven't seen it in person. Uh, just want, I want to see what it looks like, and the suspense for that Bears helmet uh, is killing me. Uh, definitely killing me. Uh, but that's that's fine. We don't have to do that break. It's obviously. Uh, whatever you guys want to play, uh, we are happy to do anything you guys want to play. Uh, right now, our focus is the minis, though, because we are just four away on the championship minis. Four slots away, 39 bucks. Uh, you get a shot to see two minis coming out of there. Uh, we had in the early show, Robert Anderson uh, had one spot, hopped in with 39 bucks, got himself a Robert Mathis mini and a Fred Taylor flash mini not bad so he made he made his bang for his buck with his one spot in the minis uh who all is in the mini break right now steven um we're three slots away and we got the barracks todd peterson and zachary erickson okay and i see blake miller just hopped in as well yep uh so whoever wins that break is going to get some value because we have a lot of one spot folks in that break uh in our minis uh, we'll get the mini done, guys. We are three away. Uh, we will definitely get that mini done uh, tonight. I uh, want to get that mini break done for you folks. Uh, I know how much you guys want to see that mini. I would like to see it as well because we're so close to closing out that series. The sooner we close it, the sooner we drop a new series with a fresh list of headliners, a fresh list of names. Uh, that, to me, is always something to look forward to. I say, Stephen, the two best things to do are close a series and open a series. Uh, and as far as series that we've opened relatively recently, Playoff Bound and Alexander the Greats are two series that we have not gotten deep into. So those are series with a lot of good headliners left, the Playoff Bound Authentic Helmet series, uh, and then the Alexander the Greats full-size replica series. Uh, those we've barely opened any boxes. Circle the Wagons and the Minis were closing in on finishing those series. And about halfway there on the multi-sports slabs and about four-fifths of the way there on the pinnacle. Uh, but you've already seen the pinnacle is nothing but good hits. Come on, y'all. Let's fill out the minis, says Blake Miller. All right, Blake. Rally the troops, Blake. Let's do it. Let's fill out those minis. Uh, Blake wants to see a win. He got a win earlier in the show with uh, that Ron Jaworski helmet, Steven. That was pretty cool. Jaws. Jaws on the retro. Jaws on the retro. 
All right, so early picks for Super Bowl MVP, Steven. I'm guessing your role with Joe Burrow. Oh, Super as Bowl. MVP? Oh. Super Bowl MVP? I know you're already rolling with the Bengals. Who's your MVP? Oh, that's a great question. You know what I think? I think Jamar Chase could be MVP just because uh, I feel like they're going to try and put Jalen Ramsey on him and mark him one-on-one. -on -one. And I think that yeah, Jamar's going to get the best of that matchup. But that, but that leaves the door open for one T. Higgins. Sure. To step up and take that role, too. Um, I'm still going to go Joe Burrow. You're going Joe Burrow? Adds to his legacy. Okay. Gets the Super Bowl win. Otherwise, it's going to be a defensive player. Some defensive player for the Bengals is going to have to have a, a major impact. Well, hey, the Rams got Jalen Ramsey and Aaron Donald, too, if you're talking defensive players. Yeah. How's your Shopify looking over there? Looks uh, like my Shopify is... It just crashed. Yep. It crashed. Okay, so Shopify seems to have crashed. Hopefully that's a very uh, short-term thing. Yeah, because I'd like to know who ordered. That would be helpful, for sure. I believe someone just put an order in. Oh, good. Come on, Shopify. Be nice, because we are now two slots away on the minis. Two away on the minis. That's often is, is a quick fix. Sometimes it goes down temporarily. I hope. I hope that's the case. Because my Shopify is not working on Descend. I'm afraid to hit something here. Come on, Nick, hop in, says Big Yak6942. Who's Nick? Who's Nick? That is that one of your, your buddies, your brother? Nick, hop in, Nick. Where are you, Nick? Hop in there, Nick. Come on. come on, folks. Come on, Shopify. When I add to cart, I get a 503 error. Oh, great. Yeah. Um, right. It's what I got, too. I got error 503. Hold on. Hold on. Check now, what, Steven. What's the... Uh... It, it, it just works now. I just refreshed, and it works. Check it now. See... See, I'm going to check it, too, actually, if I can hop in now. What were we going to ask, though? Never mind. It was Chris Gibbs. Okay, he got it. All right, Bob, maybe try now. Uh, Bob, it's back. We just did a refresh. It's back on our end. I am able to, to add the card on our end. Obviously, I'm not going to complete the card, uh, but whatever error you were getting earlier should be fixed now. Uh, it should be fixed. If you guys weren't able to hop in, should be able to, to have that fixed. And now it won't reload again. Yep, it's out again. All right. Well, hey, guys, if you get a second to hop in and close out that break, uh, let's close it out because Shopify is is causing all sorts of problems. Well, they, might, they might not be able to even place the order. Yeah, we'll see. Let's see. My add to cart is still working at the moment. So I don't know. Who knows? Hopefully, Hopefully that issue is fixed. Uh, that's not an hour end. That, that is a Shopify thing. I can add to cart, but not check out, says Bob. Okay, there you go, because I didn't click check out. Uh, so, weird. Is anyone else having problems placing orders at the moment? But I do see Daniel Eckert looks like... Right, he closed it out. He closed it out, so it worked for Daniel Eckert. Uh, so, Bob, maybe you can close out your browser and try it again, because... Uh, it is now 9.40, and we did have this order from Daniel Eckert come through at 9.39. I'm trying to get into it, but it says 5.03 error 2. Okay. Okay, well, we're out, well there's there's no uh, break right now because it's sold out, so... Okay. I got to get up a third one, and then... If you guys want to fill that out, you can. Yeah, sold out on the mini. All right, Chris. Sold out on the mini. Sold out on the mini. Ready for you whenever you're ready. I but am Shopify ready now. Cooperating, so. Shopify is up and down. 36 and 38 for boxes, says Blake Miller. All right, Blake. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right. It crashed or something. Yeah, it might have. 36 and 38 are going off the ticker. That just leaves 31 and 47. Come on, 
Hold on, let me undo here. Okay, 38. I'm not seeing in the ticker. 36, or I see it. I don't see it back there. 36, I've got... Maybe I deleted the wrong one. 31, 47, and 48. I think it should be 48, not 38. So I'm sorry about that. All right, 36 is off the ticker. Uh, so, uh, Blake, would you like a 47, says Brandon. Okay, 47. All right. I guess 38 wasn't there. All right, here we go. Head to your divisions for what could be the last break of the night. Unless, unless you guys head in and fill up some orders if you're able to. Because uh, I know we are having some issues on Shopify at the moment. We did 38 in the last break. All right, here we go. Eight times for your divisions. And eight. All righty, Zachary Erickson, you're in the NFC North. Daniel Eckert, winner of the Travis Kelsey earlier today. You're in the NFC South. Todd Peterson, NFC East. Blake Miller, NFC West. Zach Barrick, AFC North. Brandon Barrick, AFC South. Daniel Eckert, AFC East. And Chris Gibbs, AFC West. Which is where Tyreek Hill would be, by the way, Stephen. If he's in one of these boxes. 36. Oh, I got to get 47, too. I didn't get 47. You don't mind getting 47 for me. What is this? Huh. Something different. No. Okay. Uh, so we're going to have something a little unique here, Stephen. So we've got Charlie Ward, the 1993 Heisman for Florida State. Charlie Ward was a great college quarterback, also a great college basketball player. Guess what happened with Charlie Ward? He went on to play for the New York Knicks. Didn't play in the NFL. Charlie Ward. So we're going to go top spot. Everyone that's in this break, we're going to go top spot for this Charlie Ward mini. Top spot break. Since Charlie Ward did not play on an NFL team, he was an NBA point guard uh, with the Knicks. Top spot from the original list. You are right, Bob. We're going eight times. Top spot is taking home Charlie Ward on the Florida State mini. Uh, we're going eight times. Seven one more click is the eighth and final click. Todd Peterson, top spot. Todd Peterson, you are taking home Charlie Ward. Did he win anything in college, Chris? He sure did. Heisman Trophy winner in college. Uh, he was the 1993 Heisman right there. Charlie Ward, the Heisman. A 93 Heisman, Charlie Ward. Uh, he was a very good quarterback in college. Very good quarterback. Uh, so that was Todd Peterson on the top spot. Chase win on Charlie Ward. It's a little unique hit. I, I think we've had Charlie Ward in here before, but not someone we have in here very often. I like that. Todd Peterson, congratulations. Charlie Ward, mini. Made a lot more money in the NBA. Yeah, he did. He won a lot of money. He played with Patrick Ewing, Latrell Sprewell, also played with Alan Houston. Any big games like championships or major bowl? Uh, I'm not sure. I don't know that he won a national championship, but I bet you he won some big bowl games. Let's look it up. Steven will look it up. Charlie Ward, did FSU win a natty? I know oh, I have, I, Bowden I think was his coach. I know they won with Chris Winkie in like 2000 or something. Uh, Charlie Ward Charlie would have played in like the 80s or 90s, 93, 93. Heisman. So he would have played in the early yeah, 90s. Maybe not have won the early 90s. Okay. Well, we'll look that up. Let me do box 47 first, though. It doesn't say anything about him being a national championship winner. Okay. Ooh. Baby, 
Here he is! I said he was out here! How about Tyreek Hill? The cheetah on the flash! Fastest receiver in the NFL! How about this for a banger? AFC West, Chris Gibbs! Get yourself the Tyreek Hill Mini! What a hit, Chris! National champion beating Nebraska in the Orange Bowl, says Bob. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh, beat another guy we have in this break room, um, Tommy Frazier, who was 2-1 and one in national title games, uh, got beat by Charlie Ward. Chris Gibbs, one of the better hits tonight. Chris Gibbs uh, had one slot in there, looks like. Chris Gibbs got himself that Tyreek Cheetah Hill flash mini headliner hit, Chris Gibbs. Very nice. The Cheetah. Cheetah-licious. I had a feeling. Tried to get it on that one. Good hit. Good hit indeed. Come on, Shopify. Let's be nice. Good, good hit. Chris Gibbs, hopefully you're watching. Hopefully you're happy. Uh, Tyreek's run so fast he can't sign his name. Uh, Bob is not a big fan of the little squiggles. Uh, Stefan Jiggs is like that as well. Baker Mayfield. Guys, that just do a little quick little squiggle, Steven. All right. Bees your life. All righty. Uh, is Shopify back, or are we having issues with uh, Shopify? It, it's in and out. It's in and out. Shopify is in and out at the moment. All right, now it's in. But... It's in right now. Shopify is in at the moment. Um, all right, guys. A last call for orders. It's 948. We'll stay on until 956. My lucky number is eight. I'll give you eight minutes to hop in on a break. We're wide open on all our breaks except for five away on the pinnacle. Uh, everything else, we've either filled up no slots or only one slot. Uh, so it's now or until tomorrow at noon. Uh, now or until tomorrow at noon. Uh, let's fill the beater box, says Chris. Beater box is filled. Uh, Friday night, Stephen, beater box. We did 18 beater boxes chasing the Drew Brees. Yeah. It was wild. Wild. Very nice. Thank you, says Christopher Gibbs. Just seeing if we're awake. We are awake, Chris. I'm always awake. I am always prime, awake. Prime time of night. That's right. I'm a night owl, Chris. Mm -hmm. uh, you know I've worked in sports broadcasting pretty much my entire career. Uh, get off that 10 o'clock sportscast. Uh, get off work after 11 o'clock. Uh, we've been off after 11 o'clock several nights here on Sunday nights. So uh, I like being up late at night, Chris. I would not be sleeping. If I was home right now, I'd probably be watching SportsCenter. Actually, maybe not. I would not be watching SportsCenter because I wouldn't want to see the Chief highlights. Uh, I would be watching SportsCenter had the Chiefs won. See, that's why you just play video games and it's not on the side. That's right. We're, wa we're wearing matching blue, Chris. We didn't plan it. We didn't plan it. Cubby Blue. Is that a Cubs hoodie, Steven? It is. Cubs hoodie. Uh, this is a nice fleece that I bought myself as a personal Christopher or as a personal Christopher Christopher Christmas gift. Uh -huh. Woo! I can't talk right now. I am awake. Tongue twister, Chris Roberts. I do know that comment. That's right, Chris. Chris knows. Chris is a man of infinite knowledge. Uh, yeah, I got, got myself this for Christmas. Except when he's blinded by pure love. Pure love for the Cowboys. Exactly. Blinded by pure love for the Cowboys. We'll see what I can do, Chris. <laughs> Wear red next week. Who wants that Cardinal red? Decaf. Uh, so, Bob Boulay, I don't like coffee. I am not a fan of coffee. I drink green tea. It's my... A uh, coffee supplement. I drink green tea instead. I know you're awake late. I am awake late. Gotta stay up late. A lot of stuff happening on late at night. Comes alive in the nighttime. Uh, maybe I'll watch some Netflix tonight because I can't watch Sports Center because I don't want to see those chief highlights. I uh, might hit up the Netflix. Uh, I just finished The Witcher season two. Uh, maybe I'll hit up Ozark season four part one uh, on Netflix. We'll see. Uh, we'll see what what tonight will be. I'm. Have you seen Ted Lasso, Stephen? I'm also rewatching Ted Lasso with my girlfriend though, I so I can't watch that. the episodes. Ted Lasso is an excellent show. That, what's that on? Is that on HBO? It's on Apple TV. Oh, okay. Apple TV. It's strongly recommend uh, Ted Lasso. 
Uh, so actually, I'll probably be watching a show tonight instead of sports because he I don't want to watch it. I don't want to watch those highlights. You could watch WKRP in Cincinnati. I'm not watching anything in Cincinnati, Chris. Well, if it's anything with Cincinnati, I'm not watching it. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be an uplifting time over there. It's, it's gonna be quite the rager. It's quite the rager. Chris, how far is Cincinnati from Arkansas? I'll meet you there. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I've been to Cincinnati at a tennis tournament there, the Western and Southern Open. Chiefs had a good game, was a great entertaining game, just couldn't get it done. I know. I know. A great first half and a terrible second half. The only streaming service I pay for is Peacock for the Premier League. I uh, bought some good, good news. Uh, I have Comcast, and Comcast offers Peacock for free. So don't even have to pay for it. I watched the Premier League. I uh, just got done watching Parks and Rec uh, with my girlfriend on uh, Peacock. The Tiger King, the Tiger King uh, is on Peacock. Didn't see Tiger King Season 2, Chris. I only saw... Season one. I didn't even see season one. Uh, there's going to be... So it's it's a good show, but it's a little overhyped. It gets a little out of control. It I gets heard. out of control. Peacock and Comcast are both owned by the same company and NBC. WWE's on Peacock. Okay, Chris. Yes, it is. Monday Night Raw, Thursday Night SmackDown. Is that when it's still going down? Yeah, is it Thursday or Friday? I don't even know. I thought it's Thursday Night SmackDown, but it could be Friday Night It now. used to be Friday. Did it used to be Friday? Yeah. Okay. Oh, maybe it was Friday. Friday Night Smackdown. Friday Night Smackdown. Lay the Smackdown. Uh, big fan of The Rock and Stone Cold. Those are my favorite wrestlers. Friday Night Smackdown. There you go, Chris. There you go. Uh, all right, guys. Last call for orders. If you guys want to keep the night going, uh, now is the time to head to the break page. It does look like Shopify is working on our end if it is working for you guys uh please hop in and fill some orders otherwise uh we are gonna do the top spot chase here in the next couple minutes uh we do have five slots remaining on the pinnacle i would love to get a pinnacle break in uh that is a sick series of full-size authentics would love to get a pinnacle break in i do get hulu espn plus and disney plus for free with my verizon unlimited plan there you go bob i also have the the bundle royal rumble last night in st louis who won the royal rumble chris who was the royal rumble that's like when there's like 30 of them at once in the ring or something or like not at once they enter like 10 at a time or something uh, they're, 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 they start i think they do start one at a time or one at a time start out there and then like every three or four minutes a new guy comes in but at, at some point there's like 20 guys yeah, in there exactly, at once yeah. that's crazy the royal rumble who is john cena still wrestling right now i don't think he wrestles as much who's who's the big name in brock lesnar won it wow. brock lesnar okay i remember when 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 he first came up is back when i kind of was last watching wrestling brock lesnar had a crazy undefeated streak didn't he play for the Vikings, Brock Lesnar? Uh, yeah, I believe so. I think he played for the Vikings, uh, Mr. Brock Lesnar. He is a big dude. Uh, he is a big dude. He's done some MMA as well. Uh, five wins, three losses, one no contest in MMA for, uh, for him. He was too part of the, big to be MMA. Yeah, part of the practice squad for the Vikings in 04. He's too big for that. Johnny Knoxville was in it. All right. Good point. Steven is bringing in the Dutch, guys. This is the last call for the Dutch as well. Uh, let's see. Did we just fill up something or are you just stretching your legs? Stretching my legs. Oh, I thought you were getting well, a pinnacle box. I'm going to get the box. wheel ready, too. He will get the wheel ready. You know what? Yeah, let's get that wheel ready. We haven't had any orders in the last 15 minutes. Uh, if we do get within two or three slots while we do our top spot chase, I'm happy to keep the night going. Uh, but if we don't, uh, this could be the show. We've had no orders in the last uh, 17 minutes, guys. So I want to stay on as long as I can for you guys. No orders in the last 17 minutes. Knoxville wasn't it. Johnny Knoxville starting his Volvo, or is that you, Steven, starting the Volvo? No, I was saying Johnny Knoxville was in um was in the Royal Rumble yesterday, I think. Okay. How did he do? Uh I'm guessing he didn't win. <laughs> well, he didn't win because it was Brock Lesnar. Yeah. 
Oh. I'm sure I was there for gimmicks. All right. Six, seven. Next click is top spot. Chase winner. Robert Boulay. All right, Bob. Good thing Bob is in here. Uh, Bob, let us know what number you want us to start on. Bob Boulay, you are the top spot chase winner. Oh, uh -oh. Steven. Oh, I see what you're saying. I thought it was Johnny Knoxville starting his Volvo. Nope, my car is outside. <laughs> you don't drive a Volvo, do you, Steven? I do not. Okay, Steven does not drive a, drive a Volvo, Chris. 36, Chris is going for the wheel spin. Bob, I know you're still out there, Bob. Uh, what number do you want us to start on? Otherwise, we'll start on one. Uh, let me know, Bob Boulay. Bob. Uh, last call for orders. Again, we get within two to three slots. Uh, while we do this chase wheel spin, we'll stay on a little longer. Uh, last call for the Dutch as well. Start at 44, the Magic Syracuse number. Okay. All right, we can do that. Let's do a dual spin, Steven. The dual spins have been working for me. Once Bob has a preferred choice. Yeah, okay. Bob, if you want... Either of us to spin instead of a dual spin, let us know. Otherwise, we're doing a dual spin. That works. 44. Common wants to redeem. Dual is fine. All right. All right. We'll go towards you. So you're going to go up? I'll go up. Okay. All right, here we go. On three? Yep. One, two, three. Oh, I didn't let go hard enough. You got it. Good. Big money. Bob Oh, yeah. This is pretty big. What at 78? 78 dollars, Bob. 78 bucks, Bob Boulay. UA Cash, 78 big bucks. That is not too bad, Bob. Bad at all. What's the bad news, Chris? What's the bad news? There's no bad news here. We just got 78 bucks UA Cash. Oh, he would have guessed lower. Yeah, Bob. Sweet, like good hit, hit Bob. Says it. Scott Thompson. And Bob, I'm buying. I'm buying one stock in, in Boeing. All right. <laughs> That's I'm right. One stock. Stevens buying stock in Boeing. Scott Thompson says, "Sweet, good hit, Bob." Uh, Chris, you missed it. Yeah, Bob. Say, Bob. B Bob, Bob told us that. already. The main Bob. star of WQRP died uh, earlier. He already told us. How ironic and sad. R.I.P. to a legend. Bob was in here. In the chat, telling us earlier, Hessman died, says Scott Thompson. Dr. Johnny Fever. Johnny Fever. That's what they call him. All right. Well, hey, RIP to Johnny Fever. Uh, rest in peace. Uh, congratulations to Bob on that UA cash. Uh, Scott Thompson, you're still in here. Congratulations uh, to you on your multiple wins. Uh, Chris is saying, sorry, didn't see Bob. That's okay, Chris. No worries. You can't be in the chat 24-7. Uh, 365. Uh, that is definitely okay. Uh, that'll do it for the show, though. Uh, we're back at 12 and 7 Central Time weekdays on 2 and 8 Central Time weekend. Steven and I are here every Sunday at 8 o'clock together, and then we're also together every Wednesday at noon. And Steven, you're back here at noon tomorrow, yes, right? Sir. To produce. Yeah. Uh, so tomorrow, Chris, it is uh, I think Donnie and Steven at noon, and then it's Mike and I at night at 7 o'clock Central Time. So, so have a great day, Chris. Have a great day, Bob, Scott, and anyone else in the chat. Uh, have an excellent night. Good night, everybody. Later. Thank you for breaking with Ultimate Autographs in the UA Live break room. If you had an awesome time, you can join us again every day. We are live breaking certified sports memorabilia at noon and 7 p.m. Central Time every weekday and 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. Central Time on the weekends. As a reminder, if you purchased a spot in a break that did not fill, your spot will transfer to the next UA Live Breaks broadcast. Lastly, if you earn UA cash today, the funds will be added to your account in 24 hours. Thanks again for breaking with Ultimate Autographs. 